welcome. I'm joined by Imran Saeed, Chief Technology Officer of NTT Data. Imran, thank you very much for speaking with us. So before I ask you about uh, the services industry in general, uh, let me ask you about what kind of gadgets uh, you're either carrying today or you're dying to in, in sure. coming months or years. So one of the things I've been really looking at is the smart home because mm -hmm. uh, we just renovated our house. So uh, we recently installed a smart doorbell, a smart lock, a smart bathroom, um, a smart washer and dryer, I am looking at a smart bed right now, <laughs> um, and smart workout clothes. Right. And um, what, what would a smart bed do? Wake you up? Uh, uh, so the smart bed oh, is actually interesting. The least, I'm guessing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully not too early, right? Yeah. But um, no, the smart bed is really cool. It actually has sensory sensing fibers, mm. so it measures um, how how you change um, you know positions mm. on the bed mm. and automatically adjusts the firmness to give you an optimal sleep experience. And in the morning, it also tells you whether you slept soundly or how many times you tossed and turned, mm -hmm. and you get all of those analytics as well. Right. Um, so that's one example. Right. So and, and, and you said there's a smart home and there's a smart... Smart, uh, there's a smart glass that I've ordered. Yeah. There's a smart uh, smart washer and dryer, um, the smart toilet, mm. um, smart doorbell, smart lock. Mm. Um, I mean, this thing is becoming amazing. Right. So se there's security, health, wellness, it's all covered under this. Entertainment, as I all of these, Entertainment. absolutely. Yeah. So, it, I mean, yours obviously is a home worth visiting at some <laughs> point. <laughs> hopefully, I didn't yeah. hopefully it's not too smart and not let me in, right? So, right. <laughs> right. Uh, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So, h h how much of how much of this is already here? I mean, uh, you know, some of it sounds almost futuristic, but you're saying that this is all around the corner. This is all here. One of the areas where this is really sort of um, the, the one of the things that's driving this innovation is Kickstarter. Mm. Um, Kickstarter and Indiegogo, mm. these crowdsourcing funding sites, are the ones that are allowing people with just amazing ideas mm. to get funded and mm. then create the solutions. Some of the most innovative of these solutions that I talked about mm. have all been funded on Kickstarter. Right. Um, so I think that's been a huge engine for growth. Right. So tell us now, I mean, this sort of fast-changing and exciting world, how, do, how does it mesh into the work that you do at NTD Data, both internally as well as for your demanding sure. clients all so over? So what I've been noticing over the last several years, um, both at, uh, at NTD Data and also as in my work, I'm a professor of entrepreneurship and innovation Mighty. at the Sloan, School of Management at MIT is that um, a lot of the technology advances these days are being um, led by in the consumer side, right? Mm -hmm. Consumers uh, technology or consumer um, services is really leading the way and then they get adopted by the enterprise. Um, so what I'm seeing is some of these things have an impact not just on your personal lives, right, in terms of health, health and wellness and smart homes and all of this, but then they ultimately impact businesses as well, right? Um, health co healthcare companies, um, you know, entertainment companies, sports companies, whatnot. So what this does is gives us a preview into the kinds of issues that our customers, which mm -hmm. are businesses, will be facing over the next few years. So list out the top three, or the, and which are also therefore challenges for you as a company. Top three areas or opportunities. Mm -hmm. I mean, one is the, the single biggest one is the overall digitization of mm -hmm. business, right? Mm -hmm. Every business is going through digitization, and mm -hmm. that's one of the areas that we're looking at very closely right now. In fact, I head up our digital um, uh, offerings as well across mm. the organization. So that's certainly number one. And then I would say cons closely related to that is um, uh, you can't do this digital work for corporations without having to worry about security and privacy. Mm. Um, that's as we've seen with all the, the, the break-ins and whatnot and consumer concerns, security and privacy is a huge issue. And then the third one, um, which people don't think about as much, mm. Um, is has nothing to do with technology. It has to do with culture and attitude, right? To be able to digitize your business and to be able to service customers in this new mar paradigm, you need to have an attitude and culture shift mm. in terms of how you work with these technologies, how you try out new ideas, how you fail fast, mm. and that requires a culture shift that we have to look at as well. And, and this is a culture shift for large organizations. That it's you're a culture shift for large organizations yeah. and all of the people who are working in those organizations as mm. well. Those employees need to be much more engaged and much more excited and, and, and sort of thinking creatively out of the box in terms of the possibilities mm. of digital um, uh, for their customers. Right, so and how, how are you within entity data gearing up for this world and, and what, are you, what do you do to sort of make sure that you are at the cutting edge uh, apart from of course building a smart home? <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, the smart home is, uh, is, 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 is a fun and challenging t uh, uh, task. But no, um, we've set up our um, a digital um, practice which is working with our customers as well as prospects on not just sort of what we call um, innovating our systems of engagement, but also renovating systems of record, right? You can't just create a fra fancy front end 
um, which isn't talking to your backend systems to understand in inventory or finances or whatnot and have anything of meaningful value, right? So our focus is integrating both of those, right? The, the innovative systems of engagement with the renovating systems of record. And that's really the, one of our key focuses um, as, as a digital practice and mm -hmm. a differentiator for us. Mm -hmm. um, the second part of it, obviously, is that we're a, you know, we're part of NTT Group, which is mm -hmm. the world's largest ICT. So we're doing a lot of work around the areas of you know, security, privacy, mm. um, uh, and and that's uh, and the infrastructure to enable digital businesses, right? Whether it's things like bandwidth, whether it's storage, you know, and whatnot, whether it's cloud, um, all of those areas we're very strong in. And then lastly, I would say that we do have a, a strong um, organizational change management practice, mm. which focuses on that cultural aspect that I talked about. Because as I said, you can't look at this just from a technology or process right. perspective. So to conclude, to I mean, the, the last question, what would be the one key threat and what's the one opportunity that you would advise people who you work with or your clients to watch out for? Well, the opportunity is tremendous, right? Mm -hmm. it's, to, um, it's to reinvent themselves and provide a better, more immersive experience for their customers, um, get more insights into what they're looking for and, 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 and help that to you know, drive more revenue gro mm -hmm. and profitable growth, right? Mm -hmm. The challenge is if they don't do it, it is almost guaranteed that a disruptor will come into their industry and do that for them. And, and that's perhaps happening at a much faster that's pace than ever before. At, in every single industry, yeah. and it's happening incredibly fast. Mm. The pace of of uh, innovation is becoming faster and faster. Right? It took um, it took f 40 years to reach 50 million users for radio. Mm. It took um, you know six months for uh, Angry Birds to reach 50 million users. <laughs> so <laughs> the pace of innovation is incredible. Right. That's a, that's a good note to end on, and, and, uh, and uh, a note that should also, I guess, uh, you know, warn those who are perhaps not uh, being as uh, proactive as they should be. Absolutely. Imran, thank you very much for speaking with us. Thank you.